we have this slogan that says Pedro will take the naked the leads, others follow if they can. Hello viewers, welcome to your program, Polynekede Diary. I am your host, Chi Awalamoke. In this episode, I will be bringing to you a rundown of the mind-boggling development in the area of information and communication technology, ICT, that have been put in place in our institution by our rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimawa, to eradicate manual system of service delivery and automate same. Don't go anywhere. Sit tight as I unveil all to you. At a time when the institution's managerial and administrative framework were based on 60% manual operations, our indefatigable rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chideberi Arimawa, came on board as the health man of the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Oweri. But today, through the implementation of his policy trust of embracing technology and innovations, the rector has succeeded in transforming the Polytechnic from a manual operating institution into a smart campus. Before the launch of the smart campus, we experienced between 70 to 80 percent um, manual processes. We were having a lot of bottlenecks in our service delivery that encourage long queues because um, our students, it takes them time to do their screening whenever they are doing their screening exercise. Some of them, in two weeks time, they have not been screened. Some of them take up to one month based on their complaints. It encourages lateness and slowness in service delivery in the way staff deliver on their jobs. The system is also subjective in a manual process. Director, having a great knowledge of the importance of information and communication technology, ICT, in revolutionizing a process for prompt accessibility, general improvement of overall quality of service delivery, generation of revenue as well as reduction of wastage and fraud, set the ball rolling. Engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimawa unequivocally noted that the right way to go in order to achieve his goals and targets is the deployment of the information and communication technology services, which are now the general accepted industrial best practices for replacement of traditional manual operations and enhancement of efficiency and productivity at all levels of engagement. I was a student in this school, graduated and became a staff, and I've been working in this place since 1993. I have observed the way things, the way the management, the students, staff have been carrying on with the activities of the institution. And um, I came to a conclusion that there is a better way of doing things. Um, we have done things manually until I came in as rector. And I felt that we can do it in a better way. And that better way definitely is to go the digital way. That informed the launch of the Smart Campus Initiative Hence, on the third day of December 2019, the rector launched the Smart Campus Initiative, a program aimed at fully automating all management and administrative processes and operations of the institution. The introduction of this Smart Campus Initiative was embraced wholly so as to explore its prospects, trends, and benefits. The Smart Campus Initiative is a vision I had and I brought to the table. And one, immediately I was appointed, I, I started the process of the Smart Campus launch. We have deployed the Smart Campus in uh, virtually all aspects of budget operations, from revenue collection to students' uh, clearance, to transcript processing, to report rendition, and in several ways. Um, even up to medical. So the, the Smart Campus Initiative 
as you know, is a process that is revolutionizing service delivery in the institution. The rector and his management team, through the acting head, Directorate of Information and Communication Technology, ICT, engineer Mrs. M. N. Mwakama swung into action by engaging the services of ICT consultants and developed a workable framework for this course. These consultants are Jitko Kalskan Nigeria Limited, Leodant Business Services Limited, IT Global Hub and Telecommunication Services Limited, Garden Park Business Limited. The rector had a great vision for our institution, which gave birth to his initiative of a smart campus. And this entails the automation of all the processes in our activity, the screening exercises, clearance exercises of our students, medical automation, the grocery automation. In fact, all the activities, even in administrative and managerial positions, all their processes are being automated. Directorate of Information and Communication Technology annotated this task into three, namely development and deployment of the enterprise resource plan flow, innovations and upgrading of service system, staff training and retraining. This took off with the deployment of personnel, facilities and equipment. My name is Mrs. Obiageli Anyangu, Banking and Finance Screening Officer. This is where all the screen officers gather to do their screening online. Since the emergence of this uh, smart campus, this is the best thing that has happened to us screen officers so far. Initially, we used to do manual, where we see students face to face, open the files and sign documents. But this online, the smart campus is the best so far. Because here, you have to see the uploads of the students, you don't need to see them face to face. You don't need the student's contact. Just see the upload and screen them and assign them their metric numbers. It is non-negotiable that establishing more viable and accessible operational systems demands setting up of a sophisticated network operating center. To this effect, the network operating center, which is the central control room or hub, was upgraded with the state of the arts facilities. This hub houses the servers, routers, switches, and it is where the fiber optic link terminated. These hub sites are Network Operating Center Control Hall, PDTF Building Digital X-ray Center, Digital Park One, the Smart Campus Initiative of our Rector, Engineer Dr. Michael Chideberi Arimawa, was extended to the computer-based test CBT Center. Our Rector is a smart rector, is a digital rector. The intention of the Rector, Dr. Engineer MC Arimamwa, is to digitalize every unit, section, department, directorate, divisions of the institution. And his intention is to ensure both staff and students are computer literate. And so in order to enforce what is his vision, he brought about the ICT division. This ICT is coordinating the work of computer-based tests, both for the HND admissions and for ND and other departments in the school, that's those who are already admitted, they, for them to be examined through CBT. And so this has been taking place. There are two intentions for establishing and carrying out CB, using CBT to test and examine our students. One is to reduce cost of papers. We don't want to use paper-based uh, examination anymore so that we don't be wasting resources through purchase of papers. So as our students are examined through the electronic processes, we, number one, identify those who have actually paid their school fees. Number two, we'll be able to check those who are infiltrators, who come in to take examination for students who are 
not prepared. It is also an opportunity for us to know the number of students we have on campus. The Federal Polytechnic Nekada Oweri CBT Center was revamped, equipped, and declared open. The computer-based test CBT Center is made up of two halls. Hall 1 is fully equipped with the capacity of 250 computers with 25 backups, while Hall 2 also has 250 computers with 15 backups, routers, and CCTV cameras. This center is rated as one of the best in the southern Nigeria. This attracted the endorsement of the center by Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, JAMB, to host her examination and other third-party examinations, such as Nigerian Customs Services, Nigerian Immigration Services Entrance Examination. Having an existing facility on ground for smart online exercises, the conduction of screening tests for higher national diploma prospective candidates became seamless via the usage of the computer-based test center. This exercise drastically reduced the cost of conducting post-screening tests and enhanced efficiency. Our smart rector took a step further to introduce and implement the electronic voting system. The e-voting system is being used in the institution to conduct general elections such as academic board and congregation representatives election into the governing council, student union government election, ETC. The process and the procedure are good. It's very transparent. It requires a, the sense of technology to get things accurate. It's credible, it's okay. And, uh, from the ICT point of view, it's quite open, very clear, and uh, there is no normal type of any type. By now, we have finished, the counting has been done. If you are online, you will see your results. Nobody tells you what you are. I'm here looking at the results. Uh, I appreciate the arrangement. I also appreciate the orderliness. I also appreciate the introduction of uh, computer in the whole process. It's making the whole process very, very fast and transparent. And it's better. No rigid. Transparent? <laughs> transparent than the fair. Equitable. Everything. <laughs> the CBT Center has continued to provide adequate services required of the facility. And the center has been of help in terms of conduct of elections, both at the student level and also at the staff level. When I was director of evening program in 2019, I used the CBT center to conduct the election of my evening program student association. In 2021, we repeated the same. It was seamless, very free, real-time results, no allegation of uh, rigging or whatever. The students didn't complain and it saved us time. Instead of before wasting time carrying baskets, ballot papers here and there. But this exercise was seamless. He also used it uh, during the council elections, which the staff also acknowledged as being uh, seamless. In the rector's quest, to standardize the quality of academic output through research works and development of knowledge. He provided access to other institutions and academic materials through introduction of the e-library solution. This is automation of library services through a software that assesses e-books. These are racks containing our servers where we hosted e-library so that for redundancy, we have different ISP that are different from the 
the school is providing so that we can have a 24 7 internet access. Okay, so for the smart library, yes. this is the smart library portal. Okay, so from here you can search for any material. So, like we integrated with some uh, online resources that you can have. But apart from that, if there are books on the shelf, it will also show you the books on the shelf and their status. Whether they are, all, or they are currently on the shelf or somebody has borrowed it. And if somebody has borrowed it, you will know where the person is about to respond to it. And you also, yes, yes. And you also get notification when you borrow it to so know when to, when it is due for return. You can access materials online. Then, then for you to use this library, you have to be registered. So, and the way we did it, because we don't even want unauthorized uh, access. The automation of these services is also utilized in the online screening of students. A promise kept. Under this administration of engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimonwa, our website has been tremendously upgraded. The automation process was extended to the Medical and Health Services Division through a system called the e-medical solution. Under the administration of engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimanwa, there has been tremendous improvement in the activities of the Polytechnic and the Medical Center in particular. He has introduced the Smart Campus, which has brought in the e-medical solution. And this e-medical solution has made access to medical services by the patients. And also the stakeholders, like myself and others, very easy to comprehend and take off. The e-medical has made it, it is easy, easy to assess patient cards, patient's documents, patient statistics, and patient's treatment, and others, and so on. It has reduced the time that patients waste in seeing the doctors and other medical personnel when there were paper and, and paper and paper and paper oper operations and so on. So this e-medicals under the smart campus is a very good innovation that director has brought to us. We thank director for that. The e bursary solution is being operated by information and communication technology. Smart Campus Initiative. It's been a new experience and uh, Bosri has been in the forefront of uh, trying to digitalize. We started changing our processes from analog to digital. It's an experience that the people have embraced as a way to go because it's easy in business, it's making transaction processing simpler, easier, and then more efficient. In February 2020, before the pronouncement of complete lockdown due to the menace of the coronavirus known as COVID-19, the rector and his management team deployed and implemented the first ever e-learning solution in the institution, as if he foresaw such situation arising. The e-learning solution embraces online delivery of lectures, delivery of pre-recorded lectures in video and audio formats, online delivery of lecture notes to students, submission of assignments by students, having automated payment and clearance processes. Our ever dogged rector resorted to put a stop to the hectic routine of purchasing of manual hostel forms for students who wish to be accommodated in the school-owned hostels. Introduction of the Smart Campus Initiative under the administration of engineer Dr. Michael Arimawa has helped a great deal in reducing uh, human interface in this process. Remember that in the past, the students who want accommodation will search, come to the division, apply. Uh, some of them, when they are located, they go and come back. It's not what they want. They try to change hostels and stuff like that. But now the students can sit in the comfort of their homes, use their phones or other uh, electronic gadgets, just as if you want to book a flight. They will open their, the, the process, the platform, look at the hostels, choose a room, 
choose a bed space. If you are an HND student, you have opportunity for the ground floor. If you are an NDC, you have opportunity of flying. You choose the corner you want and click. And the system will allocate a room for you and print out the allocation and take it to the hall supervisor. And the hall supervisor will lead you to your room. So the, the struggle before is reduced. The human interface, where people come and be struggling in the division of social affairs, asking for one favor or the other, has also been reduced. So the Smart Campus Initiative introduced by our Smart Rector has really helped in this regard. In a bid to strengthen these frameworks for speed, efficient productivity and excellence, the Rector engaged MTN Nigeria through delivery of 155 MBPS fiber optic link, which makes internet faster installed on campus. For prompt connectivity, several distribution sites with sectorial antennas and access points were mounted in the areas of need on campus. Hence, on the fifth day of August 2022, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimawa launched the Wi-Fi on campus, strengthened by the already deployed fiber optics, which is also described as the backbone for the internet and local area networks. This is one of our distribution sites housing our sectorial antennas and access points for distribution of network on campus. And we have these distribution sites in more than 50 locations in our campus, courtesy of our rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere. The surveillance checks on campus were successfully deployed through a process called Campus Wild Video Surveillance Monitoring System. This has undoubtedly helped to monitor activities in the environment. The Smart Campus Initiative is a, a program that we adopted to improve efficiency, to make things easier. You, know, you, you don't see students now queuing up to collect receipts when they pay fees. No, because they can print the receipt as many times as possible. In the past, when a student lost his receipt, he would start crying because to get another one is difficult. But now, if he loses anyone, he can go and print another one because the platform where he paid the money is still there. He can go and print as many times as possible. So it is easier, it is simpler, it is more efficient, it is less, it is less expensive, very much more economical. And the students like it. Uh, the staff also, those hardworking staff also like it because it is easier for them. Now, we have a, a, a system that um, the, the students can apply for transcript from without coming here. They can check their results online. They don't have to go to the office of uh, a lecturer to see their result. They don't have to come here to pay, to pay for transcript or to collect the transcript. The only reason students still come here will be to collect certificates because you cannot send certificates online. But every other activity students can access online. And I'm very, very happy that we are able to achieve that. In order to meet up with the trend and function seamlessly, the rector, through the acting head, Engineer Mrs. M. N. Wakama organized training sessions for all the staff of the institution in different categories, such as the medical staff, library staff, screening officers, teaching staff, etc. Wow! Welcome back, my smart viewers. With the excitement on your faces, it is very obvious that you are proud of our rector, Engineer Dr. Michael Chidevere Arimawa and the visible transformation he has brought to this institution, Federal Polytechnic Mekede Owere. But wait, you ain't seen nothing yet. And to our smart rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimawa, and his management team, we thank you for standing tall in excellence. And to you, my smart viewers, I will be with you in our next episode. But until then, I remain your favorite host, Chi Awalamoke. Okay.